Caring for disenfranchised people, the Albert Orphanage, located along Lapu Lapu Beach on the Filipino island of Cebu, is a home administered by the Albert Schweitzer Foundation for abandoned children in a halfway house for abused youngsters. For the last 10 years, city volunteers in Cebu have been visiting the orphanage twice a month, bringing the children a bit of loving care and joy. Over the years, city has developed a close relationship with the home and its youthful residents. This is Weiwei, a little boy who was badly abused by his parents. At first he was unwilling to open his heart to others, but with love and patience, Tsuji volunteers have slowly coaxed forth his trust. He has been here four or five years, but you see his scars and pain still seem fresh. When people approach, he retreats into himself. When people want to talk to him, he retreats. You look at his face and you see so much pain. It arouses your pity. The pain that lingers in Weiwei's heart sparks much compassion in others, and other children here are like him, all cared for by the Albert Schweitzer Foundation at this orphanage. Some were abandoned at birth, others were badly abused. We come here as their big brothers or sisters or aunties and uncles. That's how we approach them. They never got this sort of feeling at home, so we try to give it to them here. Located in the Philippine island of Cebu, this orphanage was established by the Albert Schweitzer Organization in 1997. Suji has been coming here twice every month for 10 years. Each time they're welcomed with the children's songs. Besides providing the children in the orphanage, every Friday the volunteers also promote proper oral hygiene in local schools. The toothbrushing song helps remind the kids the proper way to brush. It's an activity introduced by the volunteers because they discovered many of the children suffered extremely poor oral health. The program began in 2003 and almost immediately volunteers noticed improvements that are still obvious today. Do you have any cavities? Open your mouth and show us your pretty white teeth. Besides giving these children toothbrushes, Saji volunteers also provide regular dentist visits. With such healthy mouths, the children are well prepared to recite flowery language. Volunteers accommodate them by teaching Jinxa aphorisms. These Seibu volunteers are diligently working to give these children a satisfying and healthy spiritual life in hopes that these kids will be able to replace the evils of their past with a bright and happy future.